Hey guys, my name is Atlan, but some of you know me as Atti or At. I'm one of the admins on Lowe's Bakery Dead Site server, and today I'll be covering and showing some of the things that aren't known by the general public. Mainly the admin con console that we mention to a lot of the players. First of all, before I do that, I'll be sectioning this video for better viewing if there are specific points in the video that you want to see yourself. So you could just skip to that part. Video will be comprised of wipe and how it works. I'll be showing the admin console and explain it. And I have some final words after that that I want to cover that I will also go over. So wipe and how it works. The game has two major wipes that can happen. Ones that are decided by devs and ones that are decided by owners of their own servers. Those two major wipes can split into three different types of wipes. Inventory wipe, a base wipe, and a server wipe. To explain a little bit further, inventory wipe, as the name suggests, it wipes everything in every player's inventory on the server. This type of wipe is usually done by devs because server owners don't have access to that. Second type of wipe is a base wipe. And this one, well, it deletes all the bases on the server. This wipe can be done by both devs and server owners, but it's usually done by devs when devs deem that necessary. And then we have a wipe. Basically, everyone knows what this is. It deletes everything on, on the server. And I mean everything from inventory, from the base, and your character. So you have to essentially start from scratch. This wipe can be used by both devs and server owners, but there's a, a major, major difference in this. In this, owners can delete their only their own servers, while devs can delete every server, be it a, a official or be it owned by by someone. So be mindful of that. Usually, community servers have a vote if there won't be a wipe, a global wipe. So community servers will have a vote to see if their community wants to wipe their server or not. Uh, we also do this. I have to mention that sometimes Loaf just likes to wipe the server when he deems it necessary without a vote, when there's enough time that passed, so it will just wipe. So that's how that works. So let's just move on to the next subject of this video, which is console panel. You made it. This is a main section of the of the video that we'll be covering. If you want to see how it looks, drum roll, please. Here it is. Did you think it's something complicated? Well, for us, it's pretty much barren. And as you can see, we don't have a lot of tools that you would expect us to have. Like, let's say, I don't know, spectator mode or god mode something along those lines that would help us to fight against those that like to break the rules against cheaters mainly now i will go over the tabs and explain what's in them however some of the stuff will be covered because we want to protect some of the things essentially so if you don't see something it's covered uh, if you want to check it yourself you can essentially buy the server for yourself on G portal. So basically, there is seven tabs as you can see: server, players, items, spaces, messages, uh, a log, and gameplay. First off, server tab shows us admin name, ID of the server, uh, admin Steam name, which is loaf in this case, maximum amount of players, which is here, which is fifty. Uh, a password to protect your server if you don't want it public. Uh, loot spawn chance, which goes from 1 to 50, although this is from 10 to 50. 10 is 1x, uh, 50 is 5x. Eh, you can do the math. Um, maximum size of a squad for our server is 3. You can go from 1 to 10. And then reserved spaces on the server for administrator for us is 0, but it can go up to 5. Uh, you, this is a restart schedule with, at which we can set the scheduled restart time for the server when the server will restart and then the number of days which it will take for you guys to come on 
um, so your base doesn't get deleted, which in this case is 7. Uh, next is player stab. Um, on my right side, uh, here, where my arrow cannot go, are ban players. Down here are admins, and this here we can ban players by Steam ID, or we can ban them over here by clicking on their name and then banning them like that. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the number of banned players and who they are, and I'm not gonna show you uh, admins for literal, n there's no literal le reason for doing that. Uh, next, moving on to items. This is where items, um, this is where you can set a circuit and we can spawn in items if uh, there's a, a, for example, our server has black market trades so we do those here within this uh, tab next are bases uh, this shows a number of bases on the server i'm all i also i'm blocking uh, this because um, this is all our na names of players and their steam ids so uh, i'm blocking those but as you can see number players with buildings there's 51 players with buildings meaning over the course of i don't know how long we had 51 players who built their own bases this doesn't mean uh, every single one of these 51 people can join the server at the same time it just means that there's a 51 there's 51 of them have a base we can see a detailed information about the base for example for the player that's uh marked right now he has three boxes in his base and 1051 objects objects are counted um, scaffolds uh, doors and walls and probably a box probably boxes as well we have raid settings uh default is 33 percent we're not moving that uh previously it was 10 now it's 33 dev changed it and we didn't touch it a raid token uh, lifetime, uh, it, it's five minutes, and then raid duration is one minute. Everything is on default. Message section, uh, we have a message of the day, which displays our rules. And then we also have a message that asks everyone to join our Discord if they have any questions or they want some support. Um, messages are sent every 15 minutes. And yeah this is the log uh, this only logs the kills between players for example um, this guy Conway killed OG complex with BB19 at 1 meter uh, I'm gonna um, block their steam IDs over here so you're not gonna be able to see that but that's how that looks and then gameplay options uh, basically here you can set missions, random encounters, uh, airdrops, convoys, heli crashes, roaming traders, and patrols. Um, we we have we display these settings in the server, so you you can always take a look at them. And if we change anything in here, it also have to the server also has to be restarted before any uh, of them are applied. And that's essentially all of it as a whole console panel and yeah that's going to be how that works now if you manage to get to this part please stay a little bit longer for my final words there are two more things that i want to discuss in this video that should take a couple of minutes now i've seen a lot of people try and take their shot on the rules and how they work i understand that there are some gray areas in the rules that we have but be advised, abusing the gray area is a sure way of getting into trouble. I want to specifically direct your attention to rules number five and number seven. Rule number five reads, no racial hatred, xenophobia, or homophobia anywhere. I'm not going to go into great detail on this since this is pretty much self-explanatory. However, there's been a lot of usage of n-word lately, and I just want to say that we do not condone the usage of this word be it hard r or not this is judged the same way 
always, regardless if it was used in a harmful manner or not. This is just not allowed. And it would be getting you at least a 24 hour ban, so you could cool off. Rule number seven reads, be respectful to other players. Keep your shit talking within reason, please. Don't argue a bunch in chat. For this rule, um, people tend to go overboard and be toxic as hell. So please don't. There's a reason as to why you're asked to record and submit a ticket in our Discord. This is to combat cheaters and rule breakers so that our server can stay healthy and friendly to everyone. We don't have a lot of to tools to do this ourselves, as you have seen, so we need your help to do this. One final thing before we end this video. There are two questions that have been popping up lately, and I'm going to answer them here. Number one, when wipe or when is wipe? As I explained in the first portion of this video, wipe happens when a bigger update without a wipe will be released. We then have a vote to see if you guys want to wipe this have a wipe for the server or not. As I mentioned previously, Loaf sometimes just likes to wipe the server when he deems it appropriate, so sometimes it wipes without a vote. Second question is any idea on the update? Loaf's bakery server is Loaf's personal server, not an official one. So there won't be any dead side news in Loaf's bakery that hasn't already been revealed in the official Discord. Love is associated with that side being a developer, but he will not say anything regarding any game related discussions now or in the future. So this question will be answered in one of two ways. No, there is no information or keep your eyes on the official that side discord server for any related news. And that is all. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.